Ja. 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 Nothing, I was in school and I escaped. Why? The family condition was not good, so I escaped from Kabul to my hometown and there I was warned by Taliban I'm because I knew English. They were thinking that I was working with foreigners. They warned my family and now I don't know where my family is. Can I take a picture of you? For memory. Even though maybe you spend just a couple of hours with them, you still get attached easily. They need someone to talk to and someone to lend a friendly ear to their troubles, so it's easy to share personal things and bond with them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, good luck. Hello, I'm Gabriela Andrievska. I'm a volunteer coordinator for the refugees uh, in southern Macedonia. I come here on a daily basis to um, help the refugees. this work because I have never been exposed to so many people sleeping rough in the streets on cold concrete, pregnant women and, and babies and sick old men and no one is helping them. Uh, I will explain everything now, okay? Now you're in Gergelia, okay? Yes. When you take the train yes. and you need to get off in Tabanovce, okay? Tabanovce, yes. Then what I have to do? Then you need to walk. To walk all the time. Nimše ašta kilometer. Yes. Don't walk on the train tracks, walk by the train tracks. By? Okay? Yeah, here. Because so. train will come. Exactly. So. Prišov is the first place in Serbia where you can get the Serbian papers. Serbia. Why do you need the Serbian papers? So that you can legally use the bus taxi train in Serbia or and go to a hotel. Yes, yeah. I understand. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. It's amazing how many people think that they can simply uh, take the train or bus and it will take them to um, uh, to Belgrade or somewhere, but they need to cross the border on foot. Where are you from? Syria. Where are you going? To Belgium. And I'm Turkey. 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 Balloon. Not good. Not good? No. Very dangerous. Too much dangerous. Too much cold. And with the kids? Yes, I have two kids. Jenna. 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 Previously I would see, before June I would see maybe 20-50 people per day. And then in June it became 300 refugees per day. In July it became uh, 500 1, 000, to 1,000 refugees per day. And then in, in August it escalated to 2,000, up to 2,000 refugees per day. So the numbers keep increasing. We're on the Macedonian side of the buffer zone. The buffer zone is a place at the border controlled by both Macedonians and Greeks. Officially we're here illegally. Uh, the Red Cross is the only organization which is allowed to access this place. But today I think they will let us be here. Macedonia! Macedonia? Where are you from? Syria. Aklan Masaklan. Mike? Nice. قادين ببلدنا ميتين من الجوع ما عندنا مي ما عندنا كهرباء بطلت ارجع على سوريا بحياتي بطلنا نرجع على سوريا بحياتنا سوريا خلاص بطلنا نرجع على سوريا بطلنا نرجع what we're doing is beastly I mean these are people it's not cattle and I don't I cannot understand why the local population is so afraid of them I 
feels really nice to help people. It gives, it gives meaning to your life, actually. We're all human beings and it, this could happen to anyone. Toffel, you cannot prevent people from fleeing a war-torn uh, country. They must be allowed to, to, to go wherever they want. It's a right. It's a, it's a human right. Assalamu alaikum.